Well, here we are. Maybe the final mow of the season? I don't know. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, pretty good looking considering how horrible it looked, uh, you know, early on. I mean, if you look at these blades, these are nice curved blades and um, we're getting some good blade shape, some maturing. Um, the plants are, you know, they're not just like single baby grass. These are actually grass plants with multiple, multiple uh, blades and stuff like that. If I can get it all to look like this, that'll be, that'll be great. I'm really enjoying the texture and stuff. Hopefully this turf type tall fescue elite type um, does end up being uh, summer resistant. This is the area where my bluegrass is the best. Here's where it's the worst. Talked about that many times. I haven't mowed this for like a week and it's cold. So um, it, the, uh, it doesn't, you know, it's not overgrowing itself. But now the sun is out and you can just see there's this rich green, almost kind of shiny waxy element to this grass. Um, it's just like, so the cool season allows, I mean the cool weather allows the cool season grasses to really come up and not be out competed by summer weeds or summer grasses. <coughs> and um, it's not heat stressed. It's got plenty of water because we just had some rain and now it's got cool temperatures, a little bit of sunshine. And the color on this, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to demonstrate on a video, but this is as good as the grass here gets. I mean, my grass. Um, yeah. So my grass looks good um, at the end of September, October, and November. It actually stays green in December too, but then we start, you know, it, it doesn't grow anymore in December. And so it kind of looks a little clumpy because it's not repairing itself and it gets kind of short and stubby. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, fall. If only it could look like this during the summer. That is my goal. Look at this area of the grass. This is the field. And um, this place, this doesn't get watered in the summer. So um, it's always dying. But look at this. This is like, this is really good turf all of a sudden. When it cooled down and we got a ton of rain, um, we got a ton of rain in October, which really juiced everything. Um, I did put fertilizer uh, on this before the rain. I mean, look at this area. This is like so dry during the summer. Even over here, like I can barely get this grass to grow. Um, I've shredded some leaves over here now just to cover some of the bare dirt. But this is just like, um, yeah, the, uh, there's no weeds, the summer weeds. It's too cold for the summer weeds. The bent grass is doing well over there. And this is just, you know, thriving in the cool temperatures, actually having water. So it's pretty crazy how it can look absolutely terrible during the summer and then it's still there, it's just when it comes back out when the conditions are good.